this is what I was talking about earlier where you can attach a three terabyte or four terabyte desktop drives and then back up a specific volume uh, where you have it right uh, where is it? Is it a disk manager? No, it's a share drive. Yeah, I don't, not application, share folders. So for example, right here, you can set up one folder, let's say you have, oops, I didn't use it. So you set up one folder, let's say you want to back up all your multimedia files. That includes your home movies, your pictures, and you want to have another layer of backup, you can back up to external drive right here. You can do it, you know, once an hour, it basically takes any changes and synced it over. USB one touch. This is where um, you can back up USB key via the front USB drive of the NAS. So that, let's say you have a key, um, you can basically back up your USB drive to this thing. So this becomes a central file location. And the thing is an appliance. So it's not that noisy. It's not, I mean, to me, it's pretty quiet. You don't want it to be right in your face, but definitely put it next to your desktop. It's not noticeable. You can just back up all your USB keys. And it's very easy. Just insert a key once this is config and press the USB copy button right next to the USB port, front USB port. And it does the rest automatically. Um, Cloud NAS service. Um, so you can, it's basically like a dynamic DNS sort of service. So you can access to it from um, QNAP's web service and system status. So this is where you see the system information about the NAS. So the overview, um, so you can see the memory um, usage, hard drive temperature, uh, if you go to resource monitor, this is where you can see the CPU usage. So this is a very interesting. This uses the Atom processor. Even though it's uh, a dual core, it does support hyperthreading. It's at a lower frequency than the Core 2 Dual 2.8 gigahertz I have on mine. I have TS-809. This is the A69. I have the A09 Pro. So mine, even though it has a faster clock speed, it's only um, sort of two threads. And this is four. So it's much, so it's even though it's slower clock by clock, and um, it does support more threads than mine. So I will go into more details when I do the hardware review. But this is where you can see the bandwidth usage process that's currently running. As you can see, um, it's pretty simple um, in terms of administration interface and how you can access it. It's all graphical. But if you wanted to be sort of under the hood, see the details, you can totally do that. Um, it does not allow you. So this is the last thing I want to go over. Um, it's the applications. So this is where I think the QNAP shines the most. Um, that's one of the reasons that I decided to go with them is that you can install apps onto this. Um, it's not like you know iPad apps. This is more like the server apps. So you can have a web file manager. So with this, as you can see, it's enabled. You can, let's go to the HTTPS. And you can basically browse and manage all your files. See, you can do, uh, basically, you access all the share volumes and then um, manage your files there. You can move them. You can rename them. You can change permissions. So you can see it's like a Linux system, but it's a web file management system. And then there's music station. These are all default. Come with it. Okay, this is the new one. Um, comes with A69, which is not available in my AL9 because I do not have an HDMI port. Is that you can turn this into an XBMC client. Um, for those of you who know what's what it is, it's pretty cool. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you should check it out. Uh, it's, it's a whole separate topic on its own with what XBMC can do. Download station, surveillance station, you can have IP cameras connect to this, so you can record it. Um, iTunes server, you can put in music on it. And um, so this is what's added on, is the MySQL server or MySQL server. It's where this is installed via the uh, QPKG center. As you can see right here, this is what's installed. To install one of this, you can see what's available. These are the apps provided by QNAP. Um, there are also um, other users on the QNAP form, they have prepared their own package. So you can install, this is select, 
recommend it more. You can install pretty much all these apps onto your QNAP and serve by QNAP, basically. Let's say you want to use WordPress. What do you do? Just hit install. And they say, OK. And what's going to happen is it's going to install. Say it's downloading right now, 10%. Should be faster. Um, so you have your own WordPress ins installation on QNAP. QNAP becomes a WordPress server. You don't, it's, you don't need to pay anything. Um, you can configure the DNS um, so that this can be a standalone server. So you don't need to have another server. So with WordPress installed, you can see um, installed, WordPress page, and then just go through the configuration, and boom, then you have a WordPress installation. Any sort of app, you can have more other you know, content management system install phpMyAdmin to access the MySQL server, PS3 media server. You can learn how to do Python coding, transmission. As you can see, there's like a lot of different apps for either home use or business use. It's pretty cool. And then you can do updates and you can do maintenance. You can disable it. You can configure it. You can access it all from right here. It's very easy. This can also become a syslog server. This is the new update they had it. Um, not this year, last year they added this. So basically, if you have other servers or network devices that support syslog, this can be a central repo for all the logs in your system. Home users, don't worry about it. Business user, pretty cool. Antivirus, so this thing actually has antivirus built in. You can, um, I think it's Xscan, it's the um, virus program they have on it, or... Clam, Clam AV, that's what it is, Clam AV, I'm just, and you can actually config scan jobs to run systematic scan of all the um, volumes, data, LDAP server, so this becomes its own LDAP server, VPN, um, I have not played with my AV, VPN server, there's, again, there's no use for me, but if you're in a business environment, instead of have a VPN server, this thing can do it. And certainly has the memory and uh, processing power to handle it. Uh, so here it is. So this is a general overview of the QNAP uh, web administration interface. For those of you who likes to um, get under the hood to see what's going on, you can um, SSH into the box. So uh, seventy four. Uh, make sure it's the admin user. So here's I say, do not remove the admin user for this exact reason. Now your SSH into the box. Um, it's a sort of their flavor of Linux. It's not a sort of standard layout, but if you know any sort of flavor of Linux, you won't get lost at this. Um, so, and then you can see all the... Uh, I think it's under HD data. Oh, I don't know really where the um, this is just to Ah, can't type. So there's supposed. So as you can see, um, this is where the um, Q package uh, softwares are installed. But I don't see WordPress, so there must be somewhere else. So the thing is, like, they don't really want you to go into here. It's one of the options, um, but. Oops. But as you can see, you can certainly mess around with it, uh, but definitely a word of caution. Um, don't mess with it too much. Make sure you back things up before you mess with it. Um, so as you can see, um, it is a in Linux installation. So feel free to mess around. Um, 
make sure you have a backup before you do too much crazy things with it. And uh, you can always you can always get out. And um, for non-supported apps, uh, for example, I play Minecraft. Um, you can have a Minecraft server. Basically, drop the file onto one of the share volumes and then kick it out the server. This is Java. Uh, um, JVM machine kick off and then you have a, your Minecraft server. Make sure uh, you upgrade the memory because I um, I have Minecraft server running on my TS-809 and uh, it's long memory so basically it dies after a day or so. Sometimes it'll have two days and then dies. Um, so just make sure you upgrade the memory. Um, overall I'm very happy with the QNAP system. Their interface is simple enough and the system is extremely stable. You don't have to mess with it. And whenever you do have a hardware failure, usually with the drives, it's very easy to swap out. All right. I just wanted to show you guys because when I before I purchased it, I didn't get a chance to see the interface. But you know, so this way, you know what you get. You know, you know what they have to offer in terms of the system administration. Um, it's a very flexible system, and they are certainly doing very hard, good job at adding more features. Um, the last update of last year was 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 pretty major. They added the antivirus feature, um, syslog server, LDAP server, VPN server were all added in. Before you had to go to a sort of hacking route to install, not hacking, but install VPN server using the command line interface. You know, you have to terminal SSH into it. But now you can just, it's a simple app you can install. You can disable it if you want. Um, I have not played too much with server installation, but because when you, uh, this uh, surveillance station, make sure you go to their website to get the list of supported um, IP cameras. And also you have to buy a license to add in more than one recording. So it's actually adding additional cost and I have no need for it. So, so there you have it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, I will be more than happy to show you uh, how to do this or you, you know, and then I can just show you with the screencast if this thing comes out. I have no idea yet. But thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel and uh, thumbs up. Thank you.